Now, here's the case. In Nupur Sharma's matter, you've got cases in Maharashtra, Telangana, West Bengal, Delhi, run by opposition uh, ruled uh, parties. Whereas in the Zubair case, you've got cases in Uttar Pradesh, you've got cases in Delhi, run by uh, parties, uh, run by governments that are run by the uh, BJP. And therefore, different cases, but the same phenomenon. And what's most worrying is it's happening to Nupur and Zubair today. It could happen literally to any one of us, you included, watching India Today television at this time, at any point tomorrow. Somebody needs to be offended. Some religious or political group gets agitated and you've had it. Uh, Karuna Nandi, across political lines and clearly no one is blameless in this because it's not as if it's only the BJP doing it. Opposition ruled states doing the same. What do you think is the solution? How do we stop the process from becoming the punishment, Karuna? Um, the issue unfortunately is not new to our country. When the IPC was formulated back in 1860, let's be clear that it was a colonial government trying to have peace at any cost. These are all pre-constitutional laws. When, you know, mostly these are pre-constitutional laws. And the fact that parliaments over the years have not only approved, have approved them and have perpetuated them is merely a neutral fact. So I really think the time has come that even though they're not to read these laws down, but to do away with them and come up with a proper framework with regard to hate speech. Because what happens with these laws? Um, they get weaponized. And they get weaponized. They get weaponized. And as we've seen that the people with more power are able to weaponize them more effectively. Right? So, um, if you see, it, the matter is judice, but I think that what the Supreme Court said in Zubair's case, that, you know, the content is the same and that, you know, the express modicum of uh, surprise that this was happening at all is, I think, something that we all share, frankly. If you look at those tweets and that, um, screenshot from a charming Rishikesh uh, Mukherjee film. Um, no, but even if he gets bail in the end, and here's the problem, the exactly. judges can mock some of this, but you've put a young man in prison for multiple weeks, subjected him to harassment of the process, and then ultimately he gets bail, but by then, Amitabh Sina, it's too late, because whoever it may be, uh, Zubair in this particular case, He's been put through the punishment. A message has been sent, not just to that individual, but others who are acting and thinking like him, that if you mess with us, we'll have multiple FIRs. Even if you get one bail, some other case will be filed, and you'll still stay in jail no matter what. Uh, Rahulji, uh, thank you very much for giving me time. Uh, let me explain first, uh, in, uh, as a layman, what uh, people should understand about this provision which you are talking about or you are de debating about. See, in uh, Indian constitution, in Indian legal system, it is a very beautiful arrangement of rule of law. And uh, the constitution ensures rule of law. And because of that, you know, IPC is also there, CRPC also is there. And then constitution is there which gives relief for any, any misuse of law. See, uh, when, when law will be there, law will be used and law will be misused, it is in normal, uh, you know, human psychology. But the arrangement is very clear. See, suppose, you know, a malice is there, the mensuria is there, the malafide is there, and misuse of the law is there, then the uh, judiciary takes uh, uh, the command. Let me uh, ask you a direct question, Amitabh Sina. And here, uh, Amitabh, let me ask you a direct question. Uh, one FIR in Sitapur, two in Hatras, one in Lakhimpur Khiri, one in Ghaziabad, one in Muzaffarnagar. Forget what the judiciary says. To you as an advocate, does this look like a gross misuse of the law? What I am trying to tell you uh, through, uh, and your uh, viewer uh, through your channel, uh, uh, just give me one extra minute without inter you know, interference. Let me explain. It is a very serious issue. See, my point is the misuse is always there and it, misuse can be restricted and, uh, by the judicial inter intervention. 
So if, but if you are talking separately about Zubair's case, then I would be more, uh, I, I would have uh, you know, felt happy when you, you would have talked about you know, Rohit Ranjan case, where Chhattisgarh uh, you know, police came in a plain clothes <coughs> and in the morning. I am talking about all of this, uh, Amitabh Sina. You are giving me a very you know, generic uh, rhetorical uh, response to a very direct and specific question. I am telling you, I am uh, telling you. No one second, no one second. Hear my Rahul question, Kamal, Amitabh Sina. Rahul Kamal, you are not hearing my question, is already sir. there. Misuse is there, but the judicial intervention, provision of judicial intervention is there, no. So, so Supreme Court takes that, uh, you know, very careful, uh, you know, um, observation about that and if some violation of the, uh, you know, legal provisions are there, then Supreme Court will give the relief.